hello everyone welcome to the yarn bowl today in this video we're going to see how to crochet this beautiful spring coasters and i use the same pattern that i followed for uh, making the spring floral earrings which is my last video and uh, i'm using the same pattern and i just worked the border for this coaster and if you want a free written pattern of this coaster it's available in my website theyarnbullcrochet.com link for that is available in the description if you have an instagram account do follow me on my instagram handle as well i post project updates and fun reels on my instagram and if you are new to this channel please do not forget to subscribe to the yarn bowl and click on the bell icon as well so that you get notified whenever i post a new video So these are the floral coasters that we are going to work today. I am following the same pattern that I used for spring floral earring tutorial that I posted on my last video. So um, and uh, they are super simple, super easy to make. I just added one more round of single crochet border at the end uh, to make it sturdy. And I have worked this uh, coaster with 100% cotton yarn which is uh, the sugar and cream 100% size 4 cotton yarn i have used three colors uh, soft ecru hot green and uh, uh, tea rose colors for working this uh, coaster i'm going to use four millimeter crochet hook um, i'm gonna just add a handmade wooden tag uh, which i bought from amazon which gives it as a, um, a special look and we'll also need a sewing needle thread uh, and scissors sewing needle to attach the tag which is optional for round one, I'm going to use the soft ecru color and I'm going to work a magic ring. And then in the magic ring, I'm going to work a chain two and then I will work a double crochet together. So this chain two double crochet together is considered as our first double crochet two together. And I will work a chain one and then I'm going to go ahead, work, repeat the same, which is working double crochet two together, followed by a chain one space. So we will need 8 of these double crochet 2 together with in between chain 1 spaces for our round 1. We have already worked 2 of them. So I am going to need to work 6 more sets of double crochet 2 together followed by a chain 1 space for our round 1. So this is my third one. So go ahead work 5 more sets of double crochet 2 together with followed by a chain 1 space for round one i'll meet you at the end of round one So once you have worked your round one, tighten the magic ring and work a slip stitch on top of your starting chain two double crochet together to close this round one. So I'm working my last set of double crochet two together and chain one space and then I'm going to tighten the magic ring and work a slip stitch on top of my starting chain two double crochet together to complete this round one. So I should have 8 sets of double crochet 2 together with in between chain 1 spaces at the end of my round 1. And then you can tighten the magic ring even more and secure it with a knot. And then I am going to go ahead work a slip stitch on the next chain 1 space. And then I will fasten off this color and I am going to add the tea rose color for working my round 2. For round 2 I am going to work a chain 2. And then I'll work double crochet two together. This chain two double crochet two together is considered as our first double crochet three together. And then I'll work a chain one. And then I'm going to work a double crochet three together on the same chain one space. So on this chain one space I have worked double crochet three together, chain one double crochet three together. Remember 
we are considering our first chain 2 double crochet 2 together also as a double crochet 3 together and then to reach to the next chain 1 space I'm going to work a chain 1 and on the next chain 1 space of our round 1 I'm going to once again work double crochet 3 together chain 1 double crochet 3 together so I've worked my first double crochet 3 together I'm going to work a chain 1 and then I'm going to work one more double crochet 3 together on the same chain 1 space so once I'm done work a chain 1 so each sets of this double crochet 3 together chain 1 double crochet 3 together is separated by a chain 1 space again and then go ahead work double crochet 3 together chain 1 double crochet 3 together on the next chain 1 space and once you are done with that work a chain 1 space again and repeat the same on the next chain 1 space so you should have 8 sets of double crochet 3 together um, chain 1 double crochet 3 together worked on each of the chain 1 space of round 1 and each of these sets should be separated by a chain 1 space so repeat this pattern around once you have worked your last set of double crochet 3 together chain 1 double crochet 3 together this is my last set of double crochet 3 together chain 1 double crochet 3 together and once I am done with this set I will work a chain 1 completed my double crochet 3 together chain 1 double crochet 3 together now which is my last one and then I will work a chain 1 again and then work a slip stitch on top of my starting chain 2 double crochet 2 together to close this round 2 and then I'm going to go ahead work a slip stitch on the next chain 1 space and then I'll fasten off this color and then I'll add the hot green color to work my round 3 so for round 3 in one chain win space we will work a single crochet stitch and in the next chain 1 space we will work a shell stitch. We will see how to do that. Now in this chain 1 space I am going to work a chain 1 which does not count as a stitch and then I will work one single crochet on the same stitch and in the next chain 1 space we are going to work a cell stitch. The cell stitch has following stitches 1 half double crochet stitch, 5 double crochet stitch, and then 1 half double crochet stitch. So, this is my second double crochet stitch. I am going to work 3 more double crochet stitches here, and then I will work 1 half double crochet stitch at the end. In this very same chain 1 space I have worked 1 half double crochet stitch, 5 double crochet stitch and 1 half double crochet stitch. So I am going to alternate working 1 single crochet in 1 chain 1 space and 1 cell stitch on the next chain 1 space around. So in the next chain 1 space I have worked 1 single crochet and then in the next chain 1 space I am going to work a cell stitch which has 1 half double crochet stitch. 5 double crochet stitch and 1 half double crochet stitch repeat working 1 single crochet in 1 stitch and 1 cell stitch in the next chain 1 space around you should have 8 single crochet stitches and 8 shell stitches worked around repeat this pattern around and once you are done work a slip stitch on top of your starting single crochet stitch repeat this pattern around I'll meet you at the end of this round
So I'm working my last cell stitch in my last chain one space here. And once done, I'm going to work a slip stitch on top of my starting single crochet stitch to close this round three. So after this, I'll fasten off and add the soft ecru color again and work my border. So for this border, I'm going to skip all the single crochet stitches that we have worked for our round three and we'll work one single crochet on each of the cell stitch stitches alone. We'll skip all the single crochet stitch we have worked. So we're going to work a slip stitch on top of the until we reach our half double crochet stitch. And then we will work one single crochet on each of the other stitches skipping our single crochets that we have worked for our round 3. So I'm working one single crochet on top of the half double crochet stitch. I'll skip the single crochet and pick up the next half double crochet stitch of the next shell and start working single crochets. So complete this border in this way skipping all the single crochet stitches that we have worked on our round 3. So complete your border. I'll meet you at the end of this round 4. So we are done with our round 4 here. I'm going to work a slip stitch on top of my starting uh, single crochet stitch to close this round 4. And then you can go ahead fasten off weave all the ends and go ahead weave all the ends and you can snip off all the odd bits of the yarn and uh, I'm gonna just sew a wooden tag here handmade wooden tag that I bought from Amazon to give it a special look I'm gonna do that using a sewing needle So sewing is done. If you wish to block this coaster, you can do so with blocking pins and blocking board. And now all you have to do is snip off all the odd bits. And uh, here it is. Our cute little spring coaster is ready. And if you want a free written pattern of these coaster, it's available in my website, theyarnbowlcrochet.com. Link for that is available in the description. And if you have an Instagram account, do follow me on my Instagram handle as well. I post project updates at Fun Tales on my Instagram. And if you are new to this channel, please do not forget to subscribe to The Yarn Bowl and click on the bell icon as well so that you get notified whenever I post a new video.